So here we've got a simple survey. So this is based on a recent store visit and we want to know how the store visit was. So we're asking when they um, visited the store, what was the main purpose, did they purchase anything and so on. Now what we've got is this last question, would you be willing to tell us more about your pets? So this is based on a pet store, did you buy pet food, toys or the rest of it? So what we can do is we can set this question to actually be a trigger that can then send the respondent to another survey immediately after. So this is known as having a chained survey or a series of chained surveys. So what we need to do is we need to put some kind of trigger based on that question. So we're going to come up to the top here and we're going to go to our ellipsis and click on branching rules. So we can see here we've already got a rule that's um, applied to this. We're going to go ahead and add another rule. So this one we're going to do um, uh, pets survey chained, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my condition. So my condition is would you be willing to tell us more about your pets? The answer has to be equal to yes. If it's no, then they don't need to know anything about this second survey that we've got. So if it's yes, we want to redirect them to another survey. Now, in order to set up this rule, hopefully it's fairly obvious, we need to have that second survey already created. So if true, add in an action and we want to navigate to a chained survey and then we get the list of all of our surveys that are already created and we pick the survey that we want to redirect them to. So I'm going to pick your pets. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that. So let's go back to our survey and we're going to go ahead and we'll do send survey and just so we can look at it quickly we'll do the link rather than trying to generate anything based on flow or anything like that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we will look at this survey and we'll fill it out and we'll go ahead and we'll pick a date, uh, what was the main purpose, uh, getting dog food, did you purchase anything? Yes, I did. So therefore that was the other um, branching rule that we had. So dog food and also I did uh, got some toys and I got him a couple of treats. So I'd bought, spent quite a bit of money on him but it's worth it. So uh, how likely are you to recommend this to a friend or colleague? Yeah, I think I would. And would you be willing to tell us more about your pets? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and click submit. Now what's, what it's doing is it's submitting the responses for that first survey and then it's doing a redirect. So it's taking us over to our second survey. So what kind of pets do you have? I've got a dog. Um, would you? How would you rate your pets? Well, obviously I'd rate them a 10 simple as that. So now we're submitting that second survey and we've got a thanks for that. So think about if you are doing chain surveys, if that would mean they will only see the thanks on the last survey that you've chained through. So that might be where you might want to use the um, branching rule to navigate to a URL so that you can thank them um, so that it's not necessarily looks like you're just thanking them for this survey. You can thank them for all of their submissions. So hopefully you find that useful. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you think you would use. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.